eventually released into the net have not gone anywhere. Deadly viruses, artificial intelligences that exist only to destroy. kill you. Kill me! <laughs> Damn you all! Ah! 
Jimmy Woo! Elon et tout! B, I heard you had a gig for me. You heard right. I need a driver. So call a cab then. I don't like cabs. They have a bad habit of bolting when things get dicey. Listen, I'm a straight shooter, so let me cut right to the chase. I heard you're the best in town. Thing is, I like work. I'm in. Japantown, then. By the market entrance. Give a few honks and I'll stroll up. Later, V.
меня в печенье было. APB to all NCPD subcons. Suspected organized crime activity reported on Pacific Boulevard. Anton Kolev, a known leader among scavengers, believed to be present and wanted on... Night City authorities have promised a reward for neutralizing Kolev and his entourage.
What the hell? That's weird. You are never getting out of here! <laughs> Know where you're hiding. <laughs> How the hell?
Молись, чтобы мы тебя не... The NCPD 
Allez dans l'autre bord de la salle. Il y a Cesar, shouldn't you be putting up a cradle or something? Two days tomorrow. I got time. Aha! Stardia! Break! Assign autographs after the fight. Me? I prefer to get drunk after a win. Wait, 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 hold up. You're V? If you're going anywhere after the fight, it's the ER to collect whatever's left of you. It's a heavyweight champ doing in the bush leaves. Any problems at home? On the contrary. I got so much I don't know what to do with it. That's my problem. You see, I started in the mud and shit. Now I climb too high, and my fans can feel it. I gotta show them I'm still a scrappy street kid at heart. And you? You're just the wrong place, wrong time. A scrappy street kid? What, who sits his ass on leather in the VIP area? Not the most convincing underdog story I've heard. I ain't your typical ring fuck. <laughs> don't make me laugh! One knock to the jaw, and you'll curl up in a tiny ball. My record in the ring's a healthy 47 W's. Zero losses, with 20 by knockout. And you look like a 21st if ever I seen one. Big? What are you doing here? What do you mean? I came to see the fight of the year. Everybody on the street's buzzing about it. Don't let me down now, you hear? Well, if it isn't my favorite twins in Night City. What's up, fellas? I'm, I'm not, not twins! twins. It's, it's just, just me. me! Anyway, I'm fine. Thank you. Yo, Rhino. See you're keeping busy? Next time I'm wiping the floor with you, you'll see. So, what now? What now, she says. Ha! The title match. You go up against Razor Hughes. Heard of him, haven't you? Met him, actually. Don't know what's bigger, his biceps or his ego. And you're surprised. He's a three-time heavyweight champ. Do I even have a shot? Ha. A good question. You could be very good. But this guy, he's a machine. Carbon fiber, titanium bones, hydraulic joints. All optimized by Night City's best bioengineers. I don't know. Maybe Victor will have some tips, tricks. But listen, I'll be honest. Don't look too good for you. But maybe that's better, you know? If Razor's winning anyway, maybe you're looking to earn a little something on it. 
Hit me with it. No, not here. Too many ears around. Let's step aside. What I'm going to say, it has to be between us, all right? Cut the drama. What's this about? Well, V, I'll get right to it. I know sports ought to be fair, but life sure ain't. I'm not wrong, am I? Razor's manager wants a star to shine. He wants the whole city to hear about the hurt he put on this ring. My point. Pull some punches. Forget to put that guard up sometimes. Then get comfortable on the ground. How much? A lot. More than you'd earn by winning. Okay, I'll do it. Knew from the start you have good instincts. Come on, let's get back before people start to talk. Sorry, uh, but could we talk, please? Just a minute, promise. Sure, what about? Not what, but who? Razor. My dad fought him once. A long time ago, when Razor just got started. My dad fell in the third round. The ref stopped the fight, but Razor didn't stop. Three more minutes, he beat my dad. He survived, but... I can imagine. Where's the story going? Nowhere. It's finished. Like my old life. Like my life now. Just... I want Razor punished for what he did. I need him to know how he made my dad feel. Get lost, kid. Go. Fuck you two! Fuck you! Alright, so are you two ready to fight? Only one round. What? One round! All it's gonna take for you to kiss my feet and beg for mercy. Right, uh -huh. Shall we? I'm ready. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, night citizens, it's time for our heavyweight boat. Facing each other tonight, we have Razor Hughes and Spree. Let's hear it. On to your corner. V, hey, how are your spurs before the fight? Good, but my knuckles are itching. Yeah, we'll get far in this sport without confidence. But you know, positive thinking's only gonna get you so far against an opponent like Razor. How do you mean? The guy's a tank. Seriously, nanofiber, real skin, shock absorbers. You can knock him on the head with a meat mallet. Appreciate the pep talk. Hold on now. I'm not done. He's got a weakness. Had some abdominal muscles swapped out a week ago, and they haven't taken to him fully just yet. <laughs> you hit him there, it's gonna hurt a lot. Thanks, Dick. Keep it in mind. You two ready? At the gong. Uh-huh! Let's get it! Let's start this thing. May the best brawler win! He's got Hit him in the gut!
Harry Hughes, your champion. It's a pleasure to beat you. And yeah, maybe you're looking to earn extra eddies as a punching bag? And yeah, maybe I'll chain you to the ceiling. Finish what I started. <sighs> Depends. Do I gotta listen to this bullshit the whole time, or do you ever shut up? Hey, easy, you two. The fight over. V, step aside a minute. We gotta talk. Nice work. It looked natural. Nobody seems to suspect a thing. Really feel like I earned every any here. God, that razor. What a piece of shit. He is, no doubt. But he is where he is. And he has what he has. Don't dwell on it. At the end of the day, all that matters is the eddies. And you're sitting comfy now. Chin up! You lucky you still got a pulse!
Just a little more time. Yeah, yeah, you turn it into a goddamn rock. All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the systems. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the Raffin camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like it just came back from a Corpo War tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. Always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Go on, hop in. Everything is set.
All right, let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. Damn it. Got a bad feeling about this. Everything is dandy. Give me a moment. Not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. What do you think? Well, at least now I know why people call them coffins. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. Well, if it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay, if you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Okay, this will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Pan Am? Is this, a uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There. See? Okay. Starting to understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry. I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. Soft, right? Seems a boat. Mm -hmm. All right, I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. way to do it. Right. Excellent. Now let's do some shooting. Stop and I'll activate the system. What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right, blast those wrecks. That means our nervous systems will be linked. Okay. It's as if you booked a room with two beds, but got a double bed with a blanket wide enough for half. Okay, let's try this. Guess I'll get to know you better than I'd planned. All right. Let me just say, it can be difficult at first. You'll experience feedback, sensory echoes as our systems overlap. Probably comes naturally in combat. Mm-hmm. Right. Starting now.
there. Perfect. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? An interesting day. I feel as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. <laughs> Come on. No, I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on me all to count us. Always. Good to know. Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. Beer? Lemonade? Beer me. To happy endings. Gonna miss our little escapades. Me too. On the other hand, though, who said this one was our last? V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Panem, what do you... Stay in camp. Join us. I'd love to, Pan Am. I really would. Mm-hmm. Here comes that damned butt. But... I... I can't. 
Not right now. Have to finish some things first. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought... Eh, forget about it. I'll think it over. I... V? Pan Am. I... V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? Where... Where are we? You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Where? We moved camp. You are safe. Everything is under control. Oh, V. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, V, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? You know, Johnny Silverhand? Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's what? Am, am I not... Is this some sort of strange metaphor? <sighs> Long story. Got a job. Fucked it up. Now Silverhand's personality construct's sitting in my head. Bullshit! Yeah, well, he's not too happy about it either. Turns out we don't really mix. And it's getting worse. You are not joking. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. Feeling better. Really. Wait, I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally. We were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? Much better now. Thanks for your help. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. Remember, our offer still stands. If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. And that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Want me to walk with you? Let's set to work. I know this area. Back from the old roots. You're really safe here, though? For now, yes. Hey, Militech does not venture this far. Back to the land and our vantage living. points really are much better. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. V, 
V, back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks, Pena. I think it was here. Everything flows. Oh, hey! 
Glad you're here. I... I need your help cooking. Hey, what's on the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. You can stir the meat. Uh, soy meat. Okay. Oh no. Maybe Joss would be more help. Joss did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and start stirring. This an ancient Ward family secret. Uh huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. Just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. I'm stirring. I'm stirring. Bet my socks you've never had better jambalaya. Honestly, thought you were kidding about the cook-off, or that Joss had sweat away in the kitchen while. Oh, Joss doesn't know the first thing about cooking. Actually, I like to torture foodstuffs. <laughs> Haven't had many opportunities lately. How's Randy holding up? He's looking for his old self. Physically, though, it'll be a long road before he's back to full health. And mentally? That was some experience. What Harris did to him, fucked as this might sound, might have helped the kid. Could be wrong, but feels like a clean break for him. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but I gotta ask. What about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. We'll talk later, okay? Sure. No pressure. It's just I. You know. I know. All right. Think you've stirred enough? Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. No, Randy's always been that way. But I'm sure this didn't help none. You know, his father was a difficult man, too. Um, where will I find the rice? I'll call you back later. Really nice of you to come. How's Randy? Still in the hospital. Still in shock. But he's making progress. Haven't had a chance to tell you just how grateful I am. What matters is it's over now. I just don't know how to repay you. If Randy Don't had... owe me a thing, Joss. <laughs> I'm so quick to break down. Anyway, the rice is right there. Basmati, nice. Tomatoes in next. Now you can toss in the rice. Rice is in. Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. Patio. Grab a chair. And a beer or something else. It's nice out here. Yeah. Seems all good. Like nothing bad ever happened. Tell me now, about Harris. I paid him a visit at the hospital. You flatline him? I wasn't sure that was what I really wanted. One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River. How my parents died. Oh, you sure you want to hear this?
You know, probably not the best time now. We were gonna do the nice, relaxing thing. Uh, sounds heavy, this. Okay, yeah. You're probably right. Just... Harris. What did you do? Had the gun to his head and... I've ended a few lives in my time. But never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. Told myself the case was closed. That's good. But... When now? You're not going back to the PD? P.I. has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Uncle we'll see. River, you said you'd play with us. You promised. All right, all right. Let's go. B, join us? What are we gonna play, Uncle River? You'll see. Dorian, we're playing! Yeah, big trouble and hate us. Grab yourself. think always wanted to try a game like this well well nice firepower there this is no time to get distracted we can't let that filth get away Who? oh well look at you v allow me to introduce captain joan mclean and lieutenant henry callahan they're our precinct's best and brightest wouldn't want to get in their way I always work alone. No exceptions. Even for you. Yeah! Me too! Alright, let's get to it. Right. All we gotta do is track down El Chamuco in Diablado and take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We'll play like two teams, us and the kids. But we work toward the same objective. The team with the best result wins. You don't stand a chance. Hey V, just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. Oh, there he is! Get him! The city's mine! You'll never take her from me! <laughs> He's fast, but not fast enough to escape justice. <gasps> Watch out! It's not that fast. <laughs> Is that all you got? No! Next round, next round! This way. It must be their rat infested hideouts. I could smell the moral decay from a mile off.
that fast. Okay, I think we got them all. But it's not over yet. Some last words? Fine. Out with it, scumbag. I want to see you squirm. No. Your last words. <laughs> oh, come on. Another ambush? Okay, so now... Lunch is ready. Mm. But, Mom, you almost had him. Oh, you'll get him next time. Did you see the score? That sucks. Uh, I hate this game. I, you two did great. It was really close. Oh, I should have let him win. They take this game pretty serious. Yeah, sorry. Kind of let myself get sucked into it. Ah, well, at least they had a little fair competition. Hey, food's on the table. So? Was your game fun? Mm, it was okay. He's pretty Nova, I guess. Maybe you ought to play together more often, huh? Mm-hmm. But she's on my team next time. Time to see if this tastes as good as it smells. Unemployment's being good to you. You seem good. River's discovering the joys of family life. That and police duty. Never a good mix. This here's a way to get some of those years back. I haven't seen him this... untroubled in a while. What about you, V? You got a family? Or just relations? Don't have one? Don't want one? No place for me in one. And I just don't need it. Well, you brought my family back to me, and I'm grateful. If you say so, Joss. And my brother likes you. Joss? Well, why hide it? Come on, Joss. You don't see wedding bells in my future, surely? Why not? Who thinks me and Uncle River make a good couple? Well, that's decided. Got an 1199. Officer needs backup. Come on, pull you out of this ambush. Thanks, Joss. Yeah, thanks. Whew, situation was getting dicey. That's what partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. Here we are. What are we looking at? A water tower. Great spot. Great for what? For, you know, the views. The views. Right. This way... Fuck. Gate stuck again. Gonna fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. Climb over, open it from the other side. No need. Whoa! Okay, we like leaping. Okay. On our way. Area's not bad, actually. Unlikely to dazzle. Make a good first impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. Randy's problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too.
apparently the worst city between the Atlantic and the Pacific. But I sure do love this view. Find it calming. Views to die for. Great spot indeed. Told you. Got something for you. Wow. <laughs> What's the occasion? Aiming to close the door. A stage of my life is done. This thing holds too many memories. Won't let me do that. It'll serve you better. Thank you. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. Josh's husband did it. Drunk. This very spot. Which made this your special spot. Family landmark? Something of the kind. All right, V. You know why we're here, don't you? Say you do. Please, don't string me along. That the pickup line you settled on? Because maybe heard three in my life that were worse. And just a little, I thought. Wouldn't mind hearing them. Yeah. Happy to oblige. I'll fuck you for free. <laughs> what? Got a contract. To pull info out of a gigolo in a tech mink fedora. It was weird. He was spilling. And then he pulled that one out of his hat. A candid and generous proposal, V. He should have at least considered it. Will you swallow? Beautiful. <laughs> you serious? This guy and I, sitting in a diner. Five minutes, he gapes at me. Not a word. Then drops that bomb. Oof. So I'm at a bar, and this gonk taps me on a shoulder and says, Here I am, baby. You got two wishes left. What'd you say? Spoke my second wish. That he would fuck off. Was there a third? Mm-hmm. Wished him a speedy recovery. Broken arm. Merciful, I'd say. Okay. Last one was good. You know, woman once told me I have sexy calves. That's it? Just like her boyfriend's. Before he lost his legs in the war. Yikes. She was right, though. I do have great calves. Listen, River. If you expect this to evolve somehow. Don't stand a chance, do I? Maybe we keep it at friends? Yeah. Sure. All right. We can still have a drink. Something strong's sure to hit the spot. Now that I understand. Here's to that fucking city. Tonight, city. Got any more of that? Two bottles of whiskey and a case of beer ought to be enough. We'll see about that. Buckle your liver in. Gonna be a long night and a longer morning. <laughs>